Hello, hi everybody. Thank you for the introduction, Rob. How's everybody feeling today? We are celebrating Juneteenth, a very, very special and important holiday. Um, I want to take my set to uplift you guys. This is a time for us to celebrate. Let's be thankful for everything that we have, but also stand proud in who we are. That is so it's a huge thing in my mission statement. I am very proud to be a Black woman. I'm able to express myself how I want. And yeah, we're going to start this out with a few of my original songs. My set is kind of a mix of my original songs. And then I'm going to throw in a few covers towards the end. I have some surprise originals that I haven't really performed live before, but I figured this would be a great platform to debut them on. Um, I want to remind everybody to please donate to the charities, all of the artists that you've seen on here and the coordinators, we're all doing this as volunteer work. Um, so if you could give back by donating, that would be fantastic. Uh, I'll be on for the next 30 minutes. So you can also share this event if you have a friend or someone who wants to pop in, feel free to do that as well. But yeah, so the first song I'm going to do, let me grab my headphones. The first song I'm going to do is the title track of my second EP, Lucky, and it's called Lucky. <laughs> um, I feel like Lucky was a very special project for me because I felt like I finally found my voice as an artist when I wrote it and um, I had a hand in producing it. I created the demos for it and work with a few producers on bringing it to life. Um, it's so important as an artist to take power in your music and make sure that it feels authentic to you. So Lucky was one of my first big moments where I felt like that and yeah, this is Lucky. It is a love song. It's about falling madly, deeply in love with someone for the first time. Like maybe you've fallen in love before, but this is like the first time of true love. So this is Lucky. Oh. I'm 
makes me, yes, that makes me. Oh, I guess that makes me, yeah. I guess it makes me, yeah. Oh, I'm so lucky. I guess it makes me lucky. I guess it makes me, guess it makes me. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Mm, hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, so that was Lucky. I love that song so much. I feel like it always puts me in a good mood. It's just kind of a, it's a happy-go-lucky bop about love. That's my <laughs> my idea of Lucky. But yes, if you're just joining in, I am Leandra McNair. We are here to raise money. This is a charity and a celebration of Juneteenth. So welcome, welcome everyone. All right, next one up on my list is Another special song to me. This one is a lot newer. The next song I released last year, actually, it's about a year old. I think I released it in July of 2019. So this song is very sensual, sultry, whereas like Lucky is kind of a, it's a cutesy, fun type of bop. But this one is a little bit more adult, I feel like. Um, it's very sultry. It's... Uh, inspired by some of my favorite artists, Sade and Anita Baker. I grew up listening to Sade and Anita. I thank my parents so much for introducing me to such great music, because I feel like if I hadn't heard this music growing up, I feel like my own music would be different now. Does that make sense? So yeah, these all of my songs are inspired by Black musicians, and that's another point that I want to really hit home with in my set. Black music is something that's always been there and it's been a part of all of our lives. I don't care what race you are because I feel like it's the foundation for music, especially in our country, but in the world. And I feel like black artists don't get the representation and props that they deserve. So I definitely wanna highlight all of my influences the black artists that I love and I wouldn't be who I am musically without them so this song is called dive deep you can check out all of these songs actually on spotify itunes um title if you use it it's also on deezer I don't know if anyone uses deezer but yeah and yeah let's do dive deep Oh, I'll be 
waiting there for you. No other love, no, no, no other love. Touch me in the places I'm ready for. Touch me, I wanna feel your world. No one can steal your love away. Hey. So that was Dive Deep. I love that song. Now you guys see what I mean. It's a little bit more adult. It's sultry. It's sexy. I love that song so much. Um, it has a few thousand plays on Spotify. I think like, um, I don't want to throw out numbers, but like it has a lot of plays on Spotify like that I feel accomplished with. So that song is always really special for me to perform. And like I said with Lucky, Lucky I released in 2017. So that was like the first time that I really felt like, okay, I, I'm finally becoming an artist and a songwriter. I wrote all of these songs, I didn't mention that, but I, I did write all of these songs and songwriting is something completely different than performing. I've had tons of performance experience. I've been performing live since I was maybe I don't know, like 13, performing for big crowds and stuff. So I had the performance experience. I have the vocal training, all that stuff. But to me, the definition of an artist is someone who encompasses many things. Ooh, many, many things. And songwriting is one of those things that I wanted to get better at. So with Lucky, I was, I felt good about it. But now with Dive Deep that I released a year ago, I really felt like, okay, I finally feel like I found my voice as a songwriter. So that one is very, very special to me. Okay, we are moving on. My next song. Now this song, what do I say about this song? This song is probably my favorite song that I've ever written, released, recorded. Um, I think it's my favorite because it was inspired by some of my absolute favorite artists of all time, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder. I'm talking about like old school soul music, just pure unadulterated soul music. And I wanted a song that kind of gives you that, that gut wrenching feeling that like really good soul songs do. If you listen to R&B soul, you know what I'm talking about. It's just that, uh, it's not, it's not a sadness, but it's just like, it's a feeling. It gives you the feels. So I wanted to write a song like that. And this song has gone through so many transformations. Oh my goodness. I, I first wrote this song with my ukulele. Uh, that's one of my songwriting tools. I use my uke and I figure out chords and stuff. And I kind of mess around with that. And then that's where I start. Of course, like, using the ukulele to a track, you know, to getting a produced track or performing it with a band, it has a completely different sound. So that was where I started, that was the bass. And I will never forget the day that I wrote this song. I was living in Orlando at the time, having a, a fine day or whatever day. And I was listening to music, cleaning, blah, blah, blah. And I just got so inspired. I wrote this song in like an hour or something like that. It's incredible how that can happen. Sometimes inspiration just hits you and you hear something. So yeah, I wrote this song. And then a few months later, I was performing in Europe, like um, 
if you were here from the very beginning, Rob was talking about my experiences in Copenhagen and in Paris and stuff like that. So I was in Paris on a little bit of a, kind of like a vacation in between my shows. And some of my friends there are musicians. So we all got together and I was like, hey guys, I have this song. I don't know if you'd be interested in learning it. Maybe we can book a studio. It was very quick, but I had a feeling, I was like, we need to get this done because if we can record this song, just the band in Paris, what a story, you know? And that would make this song even more special to me. So we pulled it together, we got everything together and we went outside of Paris, like maybe 40 minutes outside to the countryside. And we went to this beautiful studio called the Canopy Studio. I don't even know if it's still there, but um, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. The band really, really brought this song to life. And I feel like that's something that I was new to at the time. I hadn't really, it was my first time recording a song live in the studio with a live band. Usually I get tracks or I do a little production or something on Logic, but performing in the studio live with a band was like amazing. So that's the backstory on I Bet. Very long winded. I love this song. Um, I wanna remind everybody again to please donate to the charities that we have listed. If we can all support each other and mainly supporting black artists, I think the world can take a huge step forward. Not only for us, you know, people who are living now, but for the future generations. So let's all get it together. I'm so proud of all of the hard work I've seen so far. And look at the change that we've accomplished so far in just a few weeks, six weeks, you know, a month, six weeks. So let's keep it going. Okay. Wow. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> All right. This is I Bet. <laughs>
I was running real far away from you. I was running, no, no, baby, I was running. I was running. Ooh, 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 ooh. Waving on, and honey, I've been. It was you, and honey, I've been, I've been. It was you, honey, I've been. Oh, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet. yeah. They really killed this one. I love this song so much. So that little section at the end, that was just like a jam section. Like they were feeling it so much that they they went into that, yeah. <laughs> they went into that. Not again, here we go. <laughs> yes, that song is very special to me and I feel like it really embodies soul music and my inspirations, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, um, Donny Hathaway is another big one for me. Just artists who were completely unashamed in who they are and were. As an artist and as a Black woman, I I strive every day to be like that. I, I'm me. I'm beautiful. I'm here. I'm talented. You have to speak these things over yourself because the world will try to bring you down and try to make you think that you're not worthy, you're not good enough, whatever. And I just want to, I wanna share that message that you are enough, you are beautiful with your beautiful brown skin, man, woman, non-binary, everyone. I love you and I'm sending you love. Um, yeah. The next song I will be doing is an original, another original. Mm. This one is called Fantasy, and this was a, it was an interesting song for me to write because it was a bit of an experiment. I, I love, I have a huge affinity for ballads and just like, ugh, like those gut-wrenching songs, like I Bet. You might think that I Bet is a sad song, but it's not. I bet the words are, I bet it was you I was waiting on. You finally found the one that you were waiting for. But the vibe of the song is very like, it just hits you. It cuts you deep. So anyway, those are like my favorite types of songs to sing and write. But with fantasy, I wanted to do something a little bit more light and up-tempo, <laughs> let's say. And this song was very heavily inspired by freestyle music. If you are from New York, you know what I'm talking about. If you're from the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, excuse me, Connecticut, 
freestyle music was huge in the 80s and 90s, and it's still a huge genre. It's the music that you hear at barbecues and, you know, all your aunties and uncles are doing the electric slide to these songs. Actually, funny story, I did a, a music festival last summer and I did fantasy and everybody was doing the electric slide to fantasy. And that was like, I felt like I and finally, it's a full circle moment, you know? <laughs> Anyways, so fantasy was very inspired by freestyle music, music that I grew up with. And it's crazy to think that a lot of the most popular freestyle songs were sung by Black artists that go nameless. Really sad. Really, really sad. Heartbreaking. I mean, it's a common story in the music industry from the beginning of time. Black artists sings a song and they don't get the credit. You know, they don't get the credit or, and they use their, their recording that they did, or they just have someone else re-record it. It happened a lot in the, the 50s, 60s. I mean, it's been happening forever. In terms of freestyle, I feel like there are a lot of songs that we all know and love, but we don't even know who sang it. One hit wonders, I guess, but not even because they didn't get the recognition that they deserved. So I, it's a hard thing to, to deal with as a, a Black artist, thinking that Maybe a song will hit, maybe it'll pick up, but you'll go nameless. I hope that things like that wouldn't happen now because of social media and everything, but yeah. Shout out to those artists that made those classic songs that we've been doing the electric slide to for our whole lives. Shout out to them. This is Fantasy. This is the, <laughs> the barbecue song of the set. <laughs> so if you feel like you want to get up out of your seat and do a little cha-cha slide, feel free. I would, but... I got to stay with the mic, so I'll be dancing in my seat. <laughs> Night 
excited see you gotta you gotta up yourself you know i love my songs these are my creations these are my babies so i hope you guys like that one it's fun right it always puts me in a good mood i was like trying to do the little electric slide in my seat had the shoulders going <laughs> all right so i am going to do let's see i'm gonna do two more songs for you guys this next one I'm gonna do, doesn't need much of a introduction. It is a cover. I did this cover a few, well, about a month ago on my YouTube channel. And it's by a London artist. Her name is Leon La Havas. And she's an, I think she's like an alternative soul artist. And she's great. If you guys haven't heard of her, definitely go check her out. She is a black woman, so. We are all about supporting our Black artists, guys. If you take anything from this set, please support your Black artists because so many people don't. <laughs> so, you know, stream their music, go to their concerts, buy the merch, you know? I really wanna implore everybody to just keep supporting us and I think things will change if we can do that. We can set the tone, for real. All right, so this is Bittersweet by Leon Le Havas. Let me get a little sip of water quick. This is my first Zoom concert. I've done them on Facebook Live, but people could talk back. So I hope you guys are out there. I hope you're liking this so far. Um, if you wanna chat after the concert, you can follow me on Instagram, send me a message, whatever. Let's chop it up. Yeah. Okay, bittersweet. Oh, my head. 
that song I love that song like there is something about R&B soul music uh it's just so good it's so good the greatest <laughs> puts me in my feels all right I have ooh, mm, I'm running over my time um I think I'll do one more song for you guys if that's cool this song is unreleased it's basically hasn't been heard by the world yet. And it's a really, really special one to me. I mean, like I keep saying, every song is special for me, but this one is the new baby. She's new to the crew. And it's a song that I wrote from a perspective that I don't usually write in. So this song is all about vulnerability, being vulnerable and it's still centered around love, but it's being vulnerable in love and kind of questioning yourself, questioning your feelings, questioning everything. Um, I feel like it is kind of a, a stereotype that Black women are supposed to be strong. We're not supposed to really feel things. We're supposed to hold everybody down. We're supposed to take care of everyone, and we're supposed to... Um, help people educate people and all this all of these things but we don't really have the time to feel vulnerable and that's not fair that's not fucking fair you know and i think that should definitely change um i think it's healthy and important for everybody to feel things like yeah it's not our responsibility to to teach people things and to hold everybody down so Either way, long story short, this song is about vulnerability and feeling like you're falling in love, but this person has got you acting out of character. So it's called In My Head. Like I said, this song is brand new. It's not released yet, but it will be coming out this summer. So definitely stay tuned for that. Um, all of the songs that you've heard on here that I've done in my set. They are on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, anywhere you listen to music. Um, a lot of them are also on my YouTube channel. So yeah, I always appreciate the support. And don't forget to donate to these charities that we are supporting as well. And yeah, this is in my head. In my head, all of the things you said to me When colors fade, you make it bright again Might 
have been How you run through my mind Every now and then When colors fade You make it bright again I'm not the type of girl Who gets stuck or insecure How you do that? And when I need it most, you walk right through the door. Oh yeah, this shit got me fucked up, and it's crazy. So I push you away. Meanwhile, in my head, all of the things you said to me, the colors fade. You make it bright again, brighter and brighter. I want you to stay behind, I'm afraid. Oh, 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 oh. And what if things don't go exactly my way? Oh, no. I wanted to show you how much you mean to me. Oh, but I'm afraid I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. If love is patient and kind, what am I looking for? I see greatness in you, so much I can't ignore. The moment I move forward, I step right back. It's like an awkward dance I'm doing all alone. But in my head, all of the things you said to me, when colors fade, you make it bright again, bright again, brighter and brighter. I want you to stay behind, I'm afraid. Oh, 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 oh. And what if things don't go exactly my way? Oh, oh, I wanted to show you how much you mean to me. So that was my last song that was in my head. It will be out very soon. Thank you guys again for having me on. <laughs> Don't forget to support, guys. Donate to the charities. Donate, donate, donate. I hope everybody's staying safe and much love. Peace.